Hi kindergarten friends, my name is Mrs. Munoz and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Sonora Elementary School. And today we're going to learn how to build a fire truck using flat shapes. So before we begin, I wanted to review some of the shapes that we have learned in kindergarten. So some of our shapes are rectangles. Rectangles have two long parallel lines and two short parallel lines. Rectangles can be long and skinny. Rectangles can be tall and skinny or tall and fat. Rectangles can come in many shapes, many sizes. But the key thing to remember about a rectangle is that there's two long sides and two short sides. Then we have a shape that has all four sides the equal size. Does anybody know what those are called? That's right, those are called squares. So when you see a shape with four sides and they're all the same length, that's a square. Squares can be big, squares can be small, but they all have the same size sides. Does anybody know what shape goes around and around and around and around? You're right, it's a circle. A circle goes around and around and around and around. And it kind of looks like a letter. Does anyone know what letter a circle looks like? Hmm. Did you say O? If you said O, you are so on it. And you know what? Also kind of looks like a number too sometimes. So today, we're gonna to use these three shapes when we build our fire truck. Are you ready? So what do you need to build a fire truck? Well, you're gonna need a white piece of paper, a red piece of paper, a black piece of paper, and another piece of paper. I chose gray because it's for the ladder, but you can choose any color you'd like. So you're also gonna need scissors. Now, do we cut our hair with scissors? No. Do we poke someone with scissors? No. Our scissors are only for our paper, so make sure you're using them correctly, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our red piece of paper, and we're gonna fold it. We're gonna put it in front of us like this, and you might need help from an adult to help you fold, but we're gonna fold it in half. And when we fold it in half, what shape do we make? What do you notice? Do we have two long sides and two short sides? You're right, we made a rectangle. After we fold it in half, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna cut on that line that we made on our paper. Do you see the line? We're gonna cut right across our paper. Now you'll notice I'm cutting away from me. I'm practicing good cutting skills. We don't cut towards us. No, 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 no. So now we have a rectangle. That's our first part of our fire truck. So I'm gonna show you on my board. I'm gonna glue my rectangle onto my board so you can see. Now, I'm gonna take my other rectangle I cut, and now I'm gonna fold that one in half. 
And again, I might need help from an adult to do this. And I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna cut on that line again. Cutting away from me that I'm practicing good cutting skills. Now I'll look at that shape and I'll notice that I have two long sides and two short sides. So I must have another rectangle. What do you think? I'm gonna glue my other rectangle right on top. Now, when I use my glue stick, I don't use a lot of glue. I just put some on the outside and then I put a little bit on the inside. So, I have the front side of my fire truck and the body of my fire truck, but I need something else. You know what, I think I need a window on my fire truck. So I'm gonna get my white piece of paper and I'm gonna draw a square. And I'm gonna remember that a square has four equal sides. Now, you might need help with this part. Maybe your adult can help you draw a square in a pencil and then you can trace over it so you can practice making a square. So I need four equal sides. Here's my square. Now I'm ready to cut my square. Do you see that I have four equal sides on my square? This is gonna be my window that I'm gonna glue onto my fire truck. So I'm gonna cut on my lines I drew so that I make sure that I have four equal sides. Now, once I cut it, I'm ready to glue my square window into my fire truck. Okay, I have my window, I have my body. Now I think I'm ready for my wheels. What do you think? Do you know what shape my wheels are gonna be? Hmm, let's think. What shape are the wheels on our car? Are they the same as on the fire truck? I think so. So we need to make circle wheels. Now we're gonna take our black piece of paper. We're gonna fold it in half, just like this. We're gonna fold it in half. Now we have a rectangle. We're gonna fold it in half again. Now we have a smaller rectangle. Two long sides, two little sides. I'm gonna ask my helper to help me draw a circle on my black. I draw my circle I'm ready to cut but you need to make sure that when you draw your circle that you're cutting on the open side not the folded side okay you ready to cut cutting away from my body so that I'm practicing good cutting skills and you'll see I'm turning my paper because once I'm cutting it's easier for me to turn my paper to cut all the way around. And I just cut four circles at the same time. Pretty magical, huh? So I'm going to glue my fire wheel onto my fire truck. One, two, 
three. And it fell on the ground. Four. Now I have four circle wheels on my fire truck. But I'm missing one more thing. One more thing for our fire truck. We need a ladder. So we're going to take our gray or whatever color you chose for your ladder. We're going to fold it in half. I'm going to measure because I want to be precise. I think that will work. cut two skinny rectangles. Now skinny means I'm going to make them small. I don't want to make it thick. I want to make it small because these are going to be the sides of my ladder. So I'm going to cut up to my fold. Then because I want to make sure my ladder is the same length on each side, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to cut on my fold. So you'll notice now that I have two skinny rectangles that are going to be the start of my ladder. And I'm going to glue that right on the top here like this. Now, to finish my ladder, I need little pieces to go across. So, I'm going to make skinny cuts again up to my fold. Like this. Then, I'm going to open it up. Nope, I'm not going to open it up yet. I'm going to fold it in half again. And I'm going to open it up and I'm going to cut on all the folded lines. So I have one, two, three lines I'm going to cut on. One, two, three. And that gave me four pieces. Now, we have our fire truck, our wheels, our ladder, but I think we need like a siren up here. What do you think? So, we're going to get our red piece of paper. We're going to cut a skinny rectangle. like this. I'm going to measure because I want to make sure that it's a little bit smaller than the top of our truck. So I'm going to cut just a little snippet off of each side of my rectangle. And then I'm going to glue that on top. I'm going to get my white 
And I'm also going to cut a little rectangle out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little pieces of rectangles. And I'm going to put it on the red so that our siren is red and white. Our siren light, I should say. So I have three little rectangles that I'm going to glue onto my siren light. Actually, I'm just going to glue two. So you kind of have a pattern. Red, white, red, white. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to name my fire truck because usually you see a name on the side of your fire truck, right? So since I live in Sonora, I'm going to write the name Sonora on my fire truck. S-O-N-O-R-A. Sonora. There you have it, there's our fire truck. I hope you had fun learning about shapes today and creating your fire truck with me. Have a nice day, bye.